Okay, so I'm here with uh, James from The Curve. Uh, he's here on the Bleacon stand showing off a really interesting asset tracking solution uh, they've built using Bleacon. Um, do you want to talk us through um, how it works and um, what sure. the problem you're solving? So the demo that we've got looks at a case study that we have uh, did for a, a client in the construction space. So they wanted to be able to understand how their workforce moves around a construction site for security, health and safety side of, side of things. So around their site are uh, various uh, reference Bluetooth beacons that are just statically installed at different locations among the site. And we've got that reflected here in this demo where each of these blue spots represents a different static beacon in this exhibition hall. The staff are then given um, a tracking beacon that might look like this. So this is, um, this is a slightly different form factor, but it's got um, a BLE device in here that runs the Bleacon firmware. And as someone moves between uh, these reference beacons, it will track where they are and understand where they are in relation to sort of like the physical space. One of the things that's really nice about uh, the firmware that runs on the Bleacon stack is that if I have another device, which is sat outside of range, but I come into range with it and then I go into range of the gateway, I can then report back, here I am at this point in time, but I've also seen other beacons in these locations at these point in time. So you get complete coverage, even if you have an area where there's, it's not covered by a gateway or anything like that. And I guess in this case, it was a very sparse environment. Yeah. So that's why coverage uh, couldn't just be put across the site. Couldn't necessarily, couldn't necessarily be guaranteed. In, in this specific example, yeah, it was a very remote environment, no fixed power, no strong connectivity. So then the Bleak and Gateway's got SIM connectivity built in, which works really quite well. And then all of this is actually being operated off sort of like battery powered infrastructure as opposed to relying on sort of like mains electricity feed. So that's why you've been able to just go and uh, mark up different places in this show because they're just battery powered devices you've uh, correct started, started yeah around, so, so we've uh, we've dropped these in different locations actually within within one of these enclosures is uh, this device here it runs a, a Nordic chip and it's powered by a lithium button battery depending on how you can config, configure the device it will last for probably around about a minimum of two years up to five maybe a little bit more all of that depends on how aggressively you actually want to offload data and those kind of those kind of factors as well Great stuff. And the, and the results of this, how is the data being used that's being collected in a system like this? Uh, yeah, so um, uh, that's then being uh, offloaded in, into a cloud platform where it's then processed, it's analysed, they've then got sort of like real-time reporting on where people are, where they are on different points of the site. I think another key consideration with this is that it has to overlap with the way that the client already works as well. This, through uh, one of Bleacon's uh, hardware partners, they've actually managed to take this uh, concept and manufacture it into the RFID badges that the, that the employees wear. So rather than having to actually have a separate tracker, they can all have it built into one capability it works with the existing security gates they've got and all of this. Great stuff. And this is uh, not the only projects you work on, so do you want to just uh, introduce the, the curve and the sort of projects you work on in general? Yeah, sure. So we're a technology consultancy, which is like, it means quite a broad things for lots of people, but clients come to us with problems and we look at how we can use technology to solve those problems. And that can span typical software solutions, so web portals, mobile apps, anything like that, or projects like this where we've got customers wanting to deploy IoT solutions where there's an element of har hardware involved and then that's where we'll do things like bring on board partners like Leakin to kind of help build out sort of like a full end-to-end -end solution because that's really kind of where we come into our, our specialities. We sit down with a client, really understand, get to know their problem and then try and look to deliver a solution that's complete in its, in its entirety.